Hey everybody, long time no see. It's Gas Bandit back again with a tutorial for the new projectors. Projectors have been eagerly awaited in the survival community of the game because they allow you to plot out and build entire ships and or stations from blueprints. And using blueprints in survival will probably prove to be one of the major turning points in how the game is played online. To demonstrate the basics, we're going to build a small ship, specifically my Bob the Builder from Tutorial 6, from a blueprint using a projector. Start off by placing a landing gear for a new small ship against a solid surface. Then tack on a small generator, and finally the projector, making sure that the plus on the projector face faces up. Next, access the control panel for the projector through the cargo bay door of the small reactor. Set your ownership of everything as you care to, then access the projector itself and click blueprints. The blueprint menu will open and you can select what you want to build. We're going to build Bob the Builder. It will begin projecting Bob the Builder into space. However, you'll notice it probably won't fit right. In order to get it to fit right, you're going to need to monkey around on its control panel and use the offset sliders to position it in such a way that the projection is just barely touching the existing built grid. It doesn't matter where on the blueprint it touches. It just has to touch somewhere because you are basically building an extension of the projector assembly that will become the ship and then you'll cut it off to make the ship separate. This is pretty good with it touching the thruster, but it's better to move it up one more block and then place just a light armor block between the projector and the projection, because that'll give you something to cut through without damaging anything important when you're ready to cut the ship free. Now you're ready to weld. Simply arm your hand welder and start welding the portions of the hologram that are touching already built portions of ship. Starting with the thruster that is right next to the armor block on the projector. You'll see parts that are weldable show up as a little bit more solid than the rest of the hologram. That's how you know you can weld it. It won't let you weld anything that isn't attached to anything else already. So simply work your way from one end of the hologrammatic ship to the other, welding the parts as they connect. Being careful to make sure that you don't leave any parts in the middle unwelded because then you'll have to dig back through the ship to weld them or they'll just not be there and you'll have left them out. You can double check that you haven't missed anything by looking at the control panel for the projector. In the lower right hand corner it will tell you how many blocks are left to weld. Once you've completed your build, simply double check the projector's control panel to make sure there are no blocks missing, then arm your grinder and cut off the armor block above the projector. Your ship is now free and clear. Right now there seems to be a design oversight that if you create a blueprint from a ship that has contents inside it, for example if there's uranium in the reactors or parts in the cargo bays, they will still be there in the copies you make from blueprints. So if you made a blueprint from something in survival that was already working, chances are it will have all the contents that it had when you took the blueprint. I expect this to be addressed fairly shortly as it makes for a horrendous balance problem where someone might potentially just be able to fill up a cargo bay in creative mode with all kinds of goodies and then use a projector to build it cheaply online on a survival server and get an unfair advantage. When using a projector to build a larger, more complicated ship, I find it advantageous to build a large mast in the middle of your station and extend it up beyond the point where anything would intersect what you're building. Then put the projector on top, making sure that the plus faces up. I also like to put a button panel just under it for control and tweaking purposes. Then, just like before, add a light armor block on top of the projector to act as your cutting point. Just like in anything else, you can't build small parts on a large entity and vice versa. You're going to need a large projector to build large ships and a small projector to build small ships. 
So to demonstrate building a large ship using a projector, I'm going to use the blueprint for the large mining vessel that I outlined in my previous tutorial. Rather than fiddle with the sliders in the control panel to get the hologram projection in the right place, since your station already probably has a control chair on it, I find it much nicer to simply set up a hotbar in the control chair's buttons that will then let you position the hologram while you can see what you're doing with keystrokes, instead of sliding a slider where you can't see what you're doing. Now, welding a projection of a large ship is actually pretty tricky. You have to be careful how you do this. Naturally, nobody wants to do it by hand because that would just suck. But using a welder ship, such as Bob the Builder here, you have to be very careful. For one thing, never weld moving sideways. The area of effect nature of the welders will cause blocks to be welded to your side and you're going to get yourself stuck in the middle of your projection and possibly miss some blocks and it's just all going to turn to crap from there. Also, you always want to weld moving in the same direction. If you change a whole bunch of angles on the interior of your ship, you're going to get yourself into trouble and you're probably going to end up crashing and breaking all kinds of stuff. Speaking of which, you can also put a projector on an existing ship and feed it its own blueprint to make a very handy guide for repairing a ship that is missing pieces. The best way I've found to get this welding accomplished is to first weld all the objects at one extreme end of the ship. Then take your welder and put it right in the middle of the cross section, turn on the welders and move backwards slowly. This will hopefully let you weld up the central section with no problems. If problems are going to occur, they usually occur with blocks that are built to only attach in one direction that would attach to a block that is welded after the block gets out of range while you're moving backwards. For example, gravity generators that are pointed with their tops toward the front of the ship can be problematic, as well as gyroscopes. You'll have to keep a sharp eye out for those and touch them up as necessary. Once you've got the central core of the ship done in this manner, you can then turn sideways to flesh out the edges. And there you have it, just cut through that one armor block, convert it from a station to a ship, and you're all finished. A couple parting notes, projectors aren't the magic solution that a lot of us had been hoping for, which would let us design a ship in creative mode as big and fancy and convoluted as we cared to make it, and then build it easily in survival mode. In addition to the difficulties raised by the blocks that only attach at one point, and that point may not be welded yet, so it never gets welded at all, you also have the added difficulties of what happens when you run out of a certain kind of part in your welder and you don't even realize 
realize it. You've been walking backwards for six or seven blocks now, and the, there's a block somewhere under all that other stuff you just welded that isn't welded yet, and you're going to have to cut back through to get it. If handled deliberately and carefully, it can be a great boon to designing in creative and building in survival. However, some new schools of thought may be needed in order to properly leverage this new technology without causing more problems for yourself. I foresee a lot more modular ship designs coming out of this, as in, you'll have a basic ship that you build that then has a projector in it that then can project add-on blueprints for things like torpedo bays or engine nacelles or weapons racks or what have you. But it's going to lead to you having series of standardized ships with modular add-ons, and that'll probably be the best way to use projectors to build large, complicated ships, because making your 47 million kilogram destroyer, that's your pride and joy of creative mode, on a multiplayer survival server is still probably going to be pretty out of reach, even with the components not being a factor, simply because of the difficulties and vagaries of welding such a large and complex vehicle from the inside out. All right, cats and kittens, that's all for me for this time. If you're interested in getting updates from me when I do more tutorials, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you haven't already watched them, I have a series of other tutorials, all in a playlist on my channel, and various other fun stuff you might want to watch as well. See you guys later.